hi guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be trying out the wig cap method so let's just go ahead and hop right into it okay so i'm starting off with my hair already pulled back in the side part if you guys want to know how i lay my natural hair down i will link that video in my cards or down below and or down below in my description box so as you guys can see i'm already putting the wig cap on and i legit already look like i don't know what i'm doing so just bear with me okay i'm just trying this out <laughs> all right so my wig cap is on which i got from my first wigs so thank you so much my first wigs for sending this over to me and they sponsored today's video so shout out to my first wigs for keeping the lights on over here at the shanty residence okay <laughs> all right so as you guys can see y'all see me poking a hole where my ears are and i'm just gonna pull my ears through it's supposed to lay the wig cap around your ears a little more better okay so now that i got my ears through the wig cap i'm taking my got to be glued gel and placing this on my hairline so that the wig cap gets stuck to my head we don't want it to move so that's what i'm going to do this is not a tutorial y'all i'm literally just doing what i've seen on youtube okay Okay, so I'm not using a blow dryer or anything to make this got to be glued dry. I'm just gonna go off camera. And what I did off camera was put the elastic band on my wig. If you guys are confused as to how to get the elastic band on your wig, I'll link some videos down below for you guys. It's really easy. It's way easier than understanding how to do the stocking cap method because yo, I was so confused in this video, y'all. It doesn't make any sense. So the glue dry and now I'm just gonna cut off the excess wig cap that I don't need. Okay, so all the excess wig cap is cut off. Now I'm gonna get my wig and place it on my head just to see where everything is laying and to see if the wig cap is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. I feel like I needed a darker wig cap in a sense, but we'll get to that because right here by the part area, I could see the wig cap and it's not supposed to look like that. So I took the wig off when I noticed everything was laying right. The hairline was pre-plucked and everything. The wig, y'all, this wig is bomb. Like I didn't have to do anything to this wig but layer it and plop it on my head honestly that that's about it like the wig came already done and styled and everything it was just the stocking cap method that I was having issues with but as you guys can see I put a little bit more of the got to be glued on my wig cap and now I'm taking some foundation because it still wasn't looking seamless so I went and put some foundation on the edge of the wig cap just to make it blend into my skin a little bit more and that kind of did the trick but it still kind of looked weird i get why people do this but i'm just not really skilled in this yet okay so this is how the wig cap is looking and i added a little more of the got to be glued gel and let it dry so that the wig has something to stick to So now I'm just grabbing my wig and placing this on my hairline. I don't need to press it down because I did put the elastic band on the back of the wig. So it's kind of pulling it taut. So there's no need for me to press the wig onto my head. And then again, I don't want it to be like stuck stuck to my hairline because I, yeah, I didn't know if this was going to come out right. Which is why I didn't use bow hold because I was not trying to commit to this if it didn't come out right. Okay. So the wig is on now i'm going to create some baby hairs because y'all know shanny is baby hairs baby hairs is shanny like i've been doing baby hairs since cinderella like brandy days you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i'm creating some baby hairs to make this wig look more realistic and then that's when i noticed that this wasn't really coming out how i wanted it to come out but I tried okay I tried and I tried to finesse the wig as much as possible to lay my baby hairs down I'm just gonna use the eco style gel that comes in the green tube all right so moving on to styling and customizing this beautiful wig y'all i sprayed some water in it to define the curls 
and then I took my brush to detangle the hair and clump it together and y'all this hair just looks so good I added some layers to the front of it and then I did cut the wig a bit just to make it look good on me but other than that I really didn't have to do much to this wig like I said I just used water to detangle this hair and define the curls so now I'm just gonna go off camera and do my makeup actually I did film it but yeah <laughs> do my makeup and then come back to you guys i did clip the hair out of the way so that it can set into place because i didn't want the hair to like be falling in my face so i just clipped it up and out of the way so i can do my makeup and for it to set and i will be back with my makeup done and with my final thoughts and customization on this wig okay is customization a word <laughs> all right you guys so i am back i had to take off <laughs> I just had to take off that stocking cap because it was just not working out for me at all. I tried for my first time doing the stocking cap method. It was okay, but I give myself an A because it actually looked okay. Alright you guys, so that's basically it for this video. I really love the wig. I love how it came out. The stocking cap method just really didn't work too well for me. I am probably going to try it out again, but that's basically it for this video. Love the hair. I will link everything down below so that you guys know the unit that I'm wearing just in case you want to purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Shout out to my first wigs once again, and I will see you guys in my next upload.